Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome. If you haven't been here before, I appreciate you stopping and checking it out. If you're a subscriber, here I am again. I appreciate you subscribing too. We're out in the boonies here today, walking around looking for mushrooms. Nothing but fun for this guy. I thought I'd go for a walk. One tradition we like to do in Michigan is hunt for morel mushrooms. I haven't done that in a long time. It froze, it froze out last night and it's kind of cold today, too, too cold to go ride a motorcycle. So I thought we'd come out in the boonies, go for a walk. I thought I'd bring you guys with me. If you don't know what a morel looks like, it looks like this, right here, or maybe here, if I get that done right. I bring you out in the, we'll bring you guys out in the woods with me and we'll look around and see what we can see. Kind of looks dead. See the trees falling down. I haven't been out here in 40 years maybe, but we used to find them down here when I was younger. So, and let's go take a look. Where do we start? It all looks the same. It's really dry too. I don't even know if they'll be growing after it was froze. But I know some people found some the last week or two, so. It's the first day I felt good enough to walk around a little bit. The walking's good for you, right? We start hunting morel mushrooms, you have to like sneak up on them. So I'm trying to be quiet, but the leaves are crunchy. Oh look, there's a wildflower. That's a good sign. Right there. Ain't it pretty? That's a good sign. You know, one thing I like to do is find a good trusty stick, like that right there, so you can poke stuff with it. Some of the stuff in the grass here is alive. <laughs> if I see some, I'll let you know. Having a good poking stick is always good. But the ground just doesn't look too good. If you look hard enough, and then leaves, and the dang mushrooms are brown too, but hopefully they're sticking up above them and be big enough to see. There used to be a few right in here. Back in the day, You know, when I was a little kid, my grandmother used to bring me way out in the woods, mushroom hunting where she used to go. When she passed away, she like, she would never tell anyone where she went. Never give us a map, directions or nothing. She just took us when we were little, too young to remember where we were going. I just know we were out in the woods, so. So, here we are. Out in the woods, way out in the woods. If I get lost, like, uh, <laughs> you don't get cell service out here either, so it's going to be a while for me to get back. I'm practicing my social distance for sure today. There's nobody out here. I'm not wearing my stinking mask because, like, I'm out in the boonies. We don't need no mask. Having a dork like me in the woods with a mask on him probably scare the mushrooms away. If you look for a while, everything looks like a mushroom. There's that thing right there. Almost look like one. Right at the end of my stick, but it's just a little 
just a little weed starting to grow. Dang it. False alarm is what they call that. False alarm. Look at that there. Somebody put a river down there. I'm not going down there. It's too cold to go swimming. We're hunting mushrooms, not fishing. This is kind of cool down here. I gotta show you guys this. My friends out west, New Mexico and Arizona, California, you appreciate this right here. If I don't kill myself going down here. Let's see, this is dirt. Out right there, there's water coming out of there. see the water trust me there's water coming out of the dirt right there it goes down to the river I think it's pretty cool the water just comes out of the ground don't you think I, I just had to throw that in there I think we found a mushroom guys check this out let's see up my ah. <laughs> that's not a mushroom. That's just petrified wood fungus. Dang it. We gotta try a little harder, don't we? I gotta show you guys this. Let's get down here on our hands. Let's get down here. See that leaf sticking up right there? Right there. A lot of times the mushrooms would just poke up the leaves a little bit. Ah, it's just a fern starting to grow. That's why it's so hard to find them. Sometimes they're not big enough to see. So you have to get down close. There's another one. Yeah. I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get up close just to look. Hunting mushrooms takes a lot of work. You go really slow, then your eyes go cross-eyed. Everything starts to look like a mushroom after a while. Good looking mushrooms on pizza, right? Hey, hey, hey! I think if we found one, dudes, let's look. Let's get a close-up. What is it? What is it? Right there. Ah. I don't know what that is. It's not a mushroom. It's like an acorn or something. But another false alarm. Dang it. All right, dudes. Guess what, though? Guess what? You know, after it frosts, when it frosts outside, like the mushrooms, they get kind of frostbite. I think I found a frostbit one. If I can find it again, it wasn't very big. Oh, I see it now. Let's sneak up on it. Let's go, let's go. You see it yet? You guys see it? Can you see it? Ah, zooming in. Right there. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is, people. Mission complete. That, my friends, is a morale mushroom. Yeah, that's a keeper. They always said, my grandma always taught me, if you find one, look around, there'll be another one. So let's look around some more. Woohoo! Mushroom, mushroom. Fry them boogers up in butter. Awesome.
We only walked like a half a mile to find this one though so far. <laughs> There's gotta be another one right here. Gotta be another one. Man, yeah, you guys are laughing. You guys that hunt for mushrooms, I bet you couldn't find, you wouldn't have found the one that I did. It's like, it's like that. I found it. You got eyes like a, like a, like a bird. Like an eagle. Actually, when I found it, I saw two, because I see double. But I can't find the other one yet. It's got to be here. Gotta be here. Tell you what. Nothing better than being out in the woods. You don't hear any cars, you don't hear any airplanes, no sirens, no kids yelling, just the birds and wind blowing. Nobody here but me. Gotta be crazy, right? I'm a winner. I found a mushroom. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, one thing you gotta be careful of, like if you got a, a wishy stomach, you know, like a, a mushy stomach, uh, what do you call it, bad, bad gag reflex or whatever. Um, You know, like does a bear crap in the woods? <laughs> I'm trying to keep it family friendly here. You're crawling around looking for mushrooms and you like get your hands in that stuff that's not good I think this is just awesome looking down here all the cedars and lots it's like an enchanted forest. I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing better than being out here in the woods. Like, uh, I learned a couple of things. If you're gonna bring a GoPro with you, you should bring an extra battery, doll. It's like, it's in the red going dead and yeah I found a mushroom is a good day it's nice out here at least we got out got some fresh air he's gonna have to go home and get a new battery and take some of my uh, Norco and my knee is really singing to me right now I appreciate you guys coming with me it's been fun I hope I find some more I'll take pictures with my phone if I remember to bring my phone with me. I don't know about you all, but hearing the sound of that run of water makes me have to pee. You gotta love Michigan. You gotta love the crap you find in the woods when you're mushroom hunting. Look at that thing. Bet y'all don't know what that is. That's a freaking crooked tree. This right here. That's a that's a redneck tree stand right there. Why would they leave that out here? <laughs> I don't know if that's just as good a find as finding a mushroom. I don't know. You tell me. Sometimes when you're mushroom hunting, you just got to sit down and take a break and look, look around. So much for the pandemic just went away. This is just as good as taking a motorcycle ride. Go for a walk in the woods. I'm glad I grew up in the country because you guys in the city, I don't, there's nowhere you can walk to to get away from anything. You have to walk in your house or like walk in a circle. <laughs> that's 
That's really good, isn't it? Walk into the circle, do donuts around the couch.